Israeli media has reported that the Israeli government is accused of attempting to sabotage a U.S.-backed ceasefire proposal by introducing new demands, despite having previously accepted the plan. Hopes for a ceasefire in Gaza had increased after reports indicated that Hamas had initially approved a new phase deal proposal following nine months of war since the October 7th attack. Egyptian officials and Hamas representatives stated that Hamas had dropped a key demand for Israel to commit to a definitive end to the war before any pause in hostilities. According to Reuters and the Associated Press, Hamas officials are now awaiting a response from Israel, where protests were being held urging the government to reach an agreement to bring back hostages still held in Gaza. David Barnea, the chief of Mossad, was reported to have provided mediations in Qatar with a list of new reservations over the weekend, as per Israeli media, The Guardian has reported. Hayertz cited a source familiar with the details, stating that Israel's new demands were expected to delay negotiations, and it was unclear whether Hamas would agree to them. The source mentioned that Hamas had already agreed to Israel's latest position, but new demands were presented in a meeting on Friday. Hayertz reported that negotiations with Hamas were expected to last, quote, at least three weeks before the deal could be implemented.